Okay, so we are inside the Go High Level website builder, and today I'm going to show you how to create a landing page like this one here. So the first thing that we need to do is go to new website. We're not going to create from templates, even though Go High Level has amazing templates that you can start with. Um, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to create everything from scratch. So the first thing is we're going to select from blank, then name our website. Let's just do example. We want to name IG for Iman Gati. Um, then we click on create from here, select a new page, and then we're going to name our page, which is a landing page path. Let's just do home and then create new page. And before you create any website, make sure that you have all your assets ready. Like try to upload everything under media before you start creating your website. It makes things easy. Also have your copy ready on a Google doc so that you can just copy and paste. Um, from here, we're going to create from blank, and then it's going to take us to the website builder. Okay, now this is the website builder. For this video, I'm not going to give you a full on tour, but what I'll do, I'll leave this site builder overview article in the description. Go High Level does an amazing job when it comes to explaining the details of each and every feature on the platform. So please go check this out. It goes through every single icon that you see inside the website builder. So to get started, the first thing that I'm going to do is add a section. And then the next thing will be change the background color. So if you don't have the background color of your choice here, you just go to add custom one. And I use this tool called color pick eyedropper. So I just come in here, uh, drop the pin where I need to copy the color and then just get the code go back to my page builder, then add the color and then boom, the color is now here. So we just added a background color and we also saw on the page, they have this gradient thing here. So I went to the page and downloaded it. It's now in my media. So I'm gonna go to BG media and just go to my media here. Then I'll select the background color and boom, it's in here. And for the background color to cover the whole page, we're just gonna change the image options here and put it at full center. So you can put it at full center or full 100% width, it's up to you. Um, and then the next thing that we're going to do is add the logo at the top here. So I'm gonna go to add row, uh, we're gonna select one column and then we're gonna um, select an image. Um, this is gonna be so slow because I'm not used to building and talking at the same time. So please bear with me. You can play this at 2x speed if you need to. And then the next thing, we're going to add an image here. Agency Navigator. Then if you want to change the size of the image, just come down here and change the size. I think this is a bit smaller. Yeah, let's do, let's do 100. Yeah, that's fine. I think this is good. Now let's add another row and then add a column inside the row. And then we are going to add our headline. Let's go back to the page select the headline. Okay, we need to exit this thing. Select the headline, go back to the page and paste it here. And then to change the headline color, you just need to go on your settings here, select the headline color, go to settings, and then change the bold text color to white. Um, and then we Okay, and then I think that's good. Okay, now as you can see, this is not the same font that they used on this page. So I'm just gonna get the name of the font here by using this Chrome extension called What Font. Uh, it looks like they, use a f they used a font called Instrument Sans. Then we're gonna go back to Go High Level and go to Typography Type, select Custom Font, and then go to your font and search if they have one here. So it looks like they don't have one, but we can just try to find something that's similar to the one that they used. Okay, this looks good to me. And the next thing we're going to add a subheadline. Um, as you can see, our subheadline is now black. Uh, we're just gonna come in here, copy our subheadline. What is happening? Okay, I need to exit this. Copy the subheadline, go back here, paste it in here. We also need to change the color and the size. So the what the font um, Chrome extension also gives you the size of the text. So you can just see it here at size 20. Let's go back to the size. Then we select 20. Then we also need to change the color. Go back to the page. 
just need to know what color is it. Um, it doesn't give me the code. Okay, let's use color picker. I'm gonna try to find the color. The text is a bit small, so it's gonna be a bit difficult to find, but it's fine. I think we got it. It's, what is happening? Okay, let's exit the font. Exit this. Okay, let's start over. Okay, let's get the color. Go back here, go to color. Can even use this one. Yeah, this one looks good as well. And then fix the text. Mm, this, this is a bit too much. Let's see. Okay, we need to change the size of this as well. 42. Okay, and now this looks good. Okay, now as you can see here, we don't have enough space between these two. So to create some space, just go to padding and we're gonna add some padding at the top. And I think that looks good. Okay, now let's add the next element, which is an image. We're just gonna go in here, search for image, add that image, go to our media. We already have our image from our library. Then just select it and then boom, there it is. As you can see, it's a little bit big. Uh, to change it, just go here, change it to 800. I think that's fine. It looks good. Awesome. Okay, so far so good. The next element that I'm going to add is a button. I'm gonna go add a button. Let's see what it says on the button here. I want to save my spot. And as you can see, this button is very cool. We're gonna try to do something a little bit different um, because we don't have um, options to do this but we also have some cool features that we can put on our button. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is to change the text on this button, just go to the bottom, um, click on the text option and change the text in here. Uh, you can also see they have a little icon before the text. Um, let's go change that, um, go into icons and select an icon and then search for arrow. Let's look for something similar to that one. Let's use this one. Yeah, so far it looks good. And now to change the font of this text, we're just going to go inside here, font weight, um, set it on bold. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is add some effects to my button. Oh, something that I forgot to mention, always save your work. So please don't forget to save your work. I try to do this every 10 to 20 seconds, if you can, please. Because if anything happens, you lose everything. So try to save your work every 10 seconds if you can. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to advance and then go to effects. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna use the glow effect. And then the shadow one, I'm gonna do maybe a soft shadow. Um, the BG style, we're not gonna do anything here. Also, we're not gonna do anything here. We're gonna come back to this one. And then the next thing that we're going to do is add a full border. And then down here, you see border options. I'll select full border. Then we need some of those tools in here. And then let's do border radius. Let's do five. Okay, five, it's too small. Let's do 15. Okay, I think 15 is good. And then we need all edges, uh, which is cool. Okay, now, as you can see on the original page, the button has some cool effects on it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is open our CSS code and I have a code that I've saved. I'm just gonna come in here and paste it. Uh, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the code in the description if you wanna use it in future. And then I'm gonna copy this button text here, save this, um, and then I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to paste that color, where is it? I'm gonna paste that color in here for my button to change and press enter. And boom, now we have this cool gradient here. As you can see, our border is not really giving. So we're just gonna remove the border completely. No border. And yeah, we just have the cool glow effect. And then we have this. The next thing that I wanna do is increase the padding on the side. Let's do 60 or 80. And then increase the padding on the other side as well. Okay, now let's add the next column and add two columns at the bottom here. And then we're going to add an image. Go get the image from your library. There we go, we have our people here. And it's too big. Let's try to make that 100. 100 is also good, let's do 80. 
eight is good and then we're going to align that awesome and then on the next column we're going to add um we're going to add a headline subheadline i meant and then go to our subheadline here then just select it all oh, this color pick i need to exit it copy the headline paste it the, as you can see the headline is black um, we're going to go to our color here change it to white fix the spacing awesome you want to highlight this 20 here make it bold and then we're going to change the bold to white and i think this color is a bit grayish so let's put it on gray not the bold one the other one not this one this one yeah and then the bold one is white awesome now let's change the size let's see how small it is we're going to use what font enter it's 15 and let's change the size where is that thingy let's come in here change the size awesome align it awesome we are going to remove padding from those pictures here padding on the right let's remove this padding awesome now to put it in the middle i'm just gonna awesome now to put it in the center i'm just gonna drag and move it to the left i think it's at the center is it good okay i think it looks good okay now let's fix our spacing let's save this first then now let's work on our space uh we're gonna remove all the paintings on each and every section and element let's remove all the padding zero trying to move this a little bit closer let's remove padding here as well zero okay i think it looks good so we're going to view this in a minute but i want to fix our other spaces here at the bottom we need some space also here we need some spacing let's see if we can move this okay awesome now let's preview this and see how it looks like on the main page original copy original copy i mean there's a few things that we can work on um, we can work on our text here maybe we can change the font to i don't know what font we can use maybe let's use montserrat let's use this one okay now let's preview it oh let's do one more thing let's add a chat widget at the bottom of our page here page i'll show you quickly how to add a chat widget let's duplicate this page to make things a little bit easy okay now to find the chat widget feature just go to chat widget up here select it get code then we're going to copy this code go back to your funnel and add a code you can edit anywhere it doesn't really matter just go in here select code then now we're going to open our code and then paste the chat widget code in here and save and then we're going to save again okay now let's preview our page with a chat widget and boom we have a chat widget in here similar to this one they're using whatsapp um, you can use a chat widget you can also use whatsapp i think they have this feature now where you can put whatsapp as a chat as a chat widget i'm not sure but yeah this is how you basically do that people can just text you through your landing page if they have more questions about what you offer and yeah guys that's pretty much it let's look at it again this is the original one this is how it looks like um, and this is the one that we just built together i hope that was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and check out go high level if you're not already using go high level i have a 30 days free trial it's usually 14 days so you have 30 days to go practice and you can go ahead and practice using websites and landing pages like this to sharpen your skills look at how they're using the fonts the pictures the colors the gradients and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video